Hi, good morning everybody and happy new year. A day late. <laughs> this is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And I was trying to look for our first birthday boy of the year that I also missed yesterday. But go figure, he's not in the spot I thought he was gonna be. So give me just a minute while I track him down. But while I'm doing that, make sure you guys are sharing this, alerting everybody that we are live. It's my first live of 2022. Let's go in this way and see where the sneaky boy might be. We have all kinds of birthdays that we are celebrating this month. And, oh, there he is. Our amazing enrichment group made sure that every single one of these cats for the month of January, 22 of them, is gonna have something special handed out to them at some point. Just all depends on everybody's schedules, but we will get everything handed out. <laughs> Look at that sneaky boy. Hi, love. Hi, birthday boy. 23 years old. This is Jinx. This is Jinx. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kathy. Good morning, Pauline. What are you doing, goofball? Thank you so much, Chris, for sharing. Good morning, Anne. Very, very happy new year to all of you. Good morning, Chloe. Hey, Daniel. Thanks for joining. Good morning, Rosie. Hi, Jen. Hi, Carrie Ann. Hi, Sherry. Good morning, Noor. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Deb. Yep, first live from Big Cat Rescue in 2022. Later this afternoon, ideally probably before one o'clock because I don't want to interfere if there's a singing Sunday today. Um, Afton and I will be handing out some enrichment to two of our January birthday cats. I sat down and made a really comprehensive list <laughs> of each cat, what was made for them and what day we're gonna attempt to hand it out to them. <laughs> Good morning, Debbie. Hi, Julia. Oh my goodness. So, did everybody have a wonderful new year? I did. It was really fun, really relaxing. Hi, Christina. Buddy, you're not supposed to be doing this. Hey, Shannon. Maybe if I move and break your concentration. Why don't you find a toy instead of a tree stump? So this is Jinx. He officially is our first birthday cat of January. We celebrated him online yesterday, but of course I wasn't here, so I had to come to him first today. He's approximately 23 years old this year and goofier than ever. Yeah, go get some, go get some water, silly. Hi, Marcy. So he is gonna take us on a walk now through his many, many bubbles. All of our enclosures here are kind of a bubble system. So there's doors and tunnels that connect a bunch of them together. <laughs> So today we are technically celebrating Servi the Serval on her 22nd birthday, approximately, of course. And she's one of the lucky cats that'll get some larger enrichment put into her enclosure today, along with Diablo. We'll actually be celebrating Diablo in the coming weeks, but his favorite keeper is here today. And she made him a very specific 
enrichment and since she's here we want her to be able to see him get it so we bumped him to the front of the line but like I said by the end of this month every birthday January birthday cat will have gotten their um, special enrichment oh thank you Dawn says she sponsored Cyrus that is a good one so speaking of sponsorships considering it is a brand new year. Um, definitely make sure that if you can look it up and see when you sponsored cats last year and you are ready to renew them, that you go to bigcatrescue.biz to renew those sponsorships for each cat. I absolutely loved the vibe of last year. On New Year's Day this year, we had a wonderful, wonderful supporter that decided not only to do like she did last year, which she sponsored every single one of our cats last year at the $25 level. This year, she did the exact same thing, only she increased how much she sponsored each cat for, plus she sponsored all five of our rehab bobcats. That is such an amazing and like wonderful donation. What a great um, way to start the year and I just can't um, thank this person enough for just going above and beyond for these cats each year and I really hope that other people will take that momentum and that incentive and go ahead and just you know either sponsor one new one a month or I love the idea of sponsoring every single one of them by the end of the year or doing it all at once however you guys want to do it these cats just can't thank you guys enough so this is a very very special donor um, to us and I want to keep her anonymous but I really really appreciate the fact that not only did she sponsor every single one of our 44 permanent residents she also sponsored our five rehab bobcats and she increased the amount of donation from last year for each cat so she is at the friend level and trust me these cats are definitely <laughs> definitely appreciative of their big cat friend so thank you very very much for that and to all of you guys who have sponsored new cats this year you never forget your first sponsor cat so I really love that you guys have kind of made this a, um, a mission for the year to support the cats. So I just love that. Well, Marcy, you got very close and that's amazing. <laughs> Jinx is very, very excited about his new sponsorship. <laughs> Usually Jinx tends to be the most sponsored cat here um, but last year there was a couple upsets because you guys got so into you know sponsoring different cats each month that it was just really awesome because um, Nabisco at one point was the number one most sponsored and Flint has been the number one most sponsored and Aria of course has been in that position so I just think it's so cool that for a long time it was definitely one of those things where it was kind of always the same top three <laughs> but last year you guys showed the love to every single cat here and it looks like this year might be even bigger so thank you guys for that well I'm glad you're done chewing on stuff oh I'm liking seeing all these comments about who your first sponsor was So as I mentioned, 22 cats are celebrating birthdays this month. I'm probably not going to show you the two that we're going to celebrate later with enrichment, but I can at least try to see if anyone else on our list for this week is out and about. This is where my mind starts to get a little jumbled though because there are so many cats and dates and ages that I made myself a cheat sheet <laughs> for, for each week. So I've got it here on my cart. So let's see. This week will be Jinx, Servi, Mouser, Aria, and Dez. Aria is still on vacation. To my knowledge, Aria will be coming 
home probably Thursday, but I also know we're supposed to be getting some chillier weather and some rain chances again, so I don't know if that'll affect anything or not. So I can't really go in with Mouser right now because I don't have my keys to go in with him, but I can tell you that I plan to celebrate him tomorrow. And let's see, so let's see if we can see Des. Des will be approximately 17 years old this year. Since we're gonna try to see Diablo later. Of course, Diablo and Servi are not what you would call quote unquote enrichment cats. They, he does play with enrichment a lot, but never really in front of very many people. And I don't know if he'll do it while I'm live because he doesn't always like all this equipment. But last year when we gave him his birthday enrichment, he was pretty, hi sir, he was pretty uh, playful, but it was only Sarah and I, and we were super quiet and I wasn't live, but I did get photos, so we'll see how that goes. But this is Des, Des Des, Mr. Des, approximately 17 years old this, this month for this year. You guys don't know Des. Des was found having only three legs, exhausted on the side of the road in Arizona, out in the desert. Somebody had clearly dumped him. I don't know why you're so handsome. My guess is because you were just a terror in a house. So you're not supposed to be a pet. He's the biggest serval that we have. Biggest serval. So darn cute. And it's because of you guys that cats like this can live out the rest of their lives here at Big Cat Rescue. So when you guys donate here on lives, when you sponsor the cats, when you buy merchandise at bigcatrescue.biz, all of those are ways that you guys are able to help us provide a lifetime of love and health care and healthy food and natural enrichment and natural environments. So that's really what your sponsorships do. It, it helps with their ongoing care because when we rescue cats, we vow to care for them for the rest of their lives. We are a retirement home for these cats. And we don't ever buy, sell, trade, breed, or touch the cats here because we are GFAS accredited. And yep, when Des first arrived, um, he had had a full health checkup at a veterinarian before being brought here. And um, we were told that he was a she. So originally Desiree came to us and it wasn't until just a couple of years ago because he's, he's been overall very healthy. Just a few years ago, we did sedate him for a medical exam and we took x-rays to check in on his arthritis and, you know, having only three legs, we wanted to see how the other three legs were holding up since he's such a big guy and came to find out that he was a boy. <laughs> yeah, we kind of figured because you were huge, massive. Girl servals are a little more dainty. So handsome though. So handsome. Thank you, Chris, for always thinking everybody who makes donations on these lives. For some reason, still to this day, it's an issue that started last year or maybe even in 2020 at this point. But for some reason, when you guys donate on these lives, I no longer see who donated and how much you donated. So it's a mystery until I shut down this live. And then I can see that so many people made donations. So just a huge thank you to everybody who does that. Even if it's only a couple of dollars at a time, that really adds up over the year. As soon as I get back to my desk today, I will be calculating my year end and 
so many of you guys supported us in unique ways, making BigCatRescue.biz a big success this year, and our eBay auctions just blew last year out of the water, so thank you for that. I'll be getting a whole new set of those going very, very soon. So we will have some probably near the end of January. We will start doing just a couple a month. I have quite a few things still in my office that are very, very cool, very unique. Lots of past cats, lots of present cats. And just an unbelievable surprise. Um, our last auction ended on New Year's Eve. And when I checked it and saw how much it went for, I was in disbelief. I thought there had to be a mistake. <laughs> And I, I cried. I literally shed tears of happiness because what an amazing way to end the year for the cats with such a great donation. And when I told Jamie, because I saw Jamie on New Year's Eve, um, we were both just like, wow, like how incredible. So thank you to everybody who built up that auction and to our winner, congratulations. I will definitely get that mailed out tomorrow absolutely incredible and we had a great year on Amazon smile I got my email saying that you know you guys have helped us raise over three hundred and fifty thousand dollars since the start of Amazon smile so we can't thank you guys enough for all the unique ways that you guys help these cats but not only financially everybody that you know, helps out on these live feeds, and helps out in the comments, and buys the volunteers lunches, and sends products to rehab. All of those things are just, uh, they make me very emotional. <laughs> so thank you guys. So something else I missed on Friday, not being here, was that Cricket did go and have her vet exam and luckily nothing was found to be way worse than what we probably thought might be happening because she's been kind of extra limpy lately and we already know that Cricket has a lot of deformities and a lot of health issues and she really needed her back nails trimmed, so I'm gonna be very happy that that happened. She did get to come back outside yesterday, so I would like to see her. Also, I can't show this cat, but Autumn was also um, examined by Dr. Justin. There she is. Hi, pretty lady. I'll stay over here, okay? I'm so glad you got checked out. I was very worried. I was very worried, Cricket. Yeah. I'm very glad they checked you out. What a good girl. So this is Cricket, but I will speak about Autumn very quickly. Autumn is a rehab bobcat that has been living inside of the rehab hospital after she was discovered to have a broken leg and she still has almost non-existing shoulder blades and a very twisted spine. Um, however, she actually looks to be very healed up in um, especially the broken leg area. So what we're thinking is more space, more exercise room, and more food um, is what we're going to attempt with Autumn. She is starting on whole prey now so that we can assess whether or not she can pass whole prey. That would obviously be one of the biggest factors is as to whether Autumn can live wild and free like she was born to be. So we still have quite quite a ways to go with Miss Autumn on her rehab, but it sounds like sometime this week we may be trying to put her outside. What we will be doing is putting her outside into cage one. That is the same enclosure where Summer is. Summer will have most likely the mediums and large sections, and Autumn will be in the two small sections just to try it out for a little bit. 
I don't know if the plan would ever be to put autumn and summer together. Um, it was talked about, but there's a very good chance that autumn will outgrow summer and we would never want to take the chance that she could hurt her. So we're playing that one by ear. They might get to at least see each other a little bit more. Summer can see a real bobcat <laughs> up close again, because she did share a wall with Kahira and Birdie, so. That's the update on Autumn. As far as Miss Cricket goes, unfortunately, you know, as she continues to age, we are just seeing that she is getting more and more arth uh, arthritis in her feet and legs and spine. And for anybody who's asking about summer, I know that um, on the Explore cameras, it was witnessed that Summer was doing kind of a weird breathing, and so we are looking into that. None of us have ever seen her do that before, um, so that has been sent off to the vet group. We will be watching her closely on that. Um, as far as an update on Summer, she was weighed for the first time in several months over the weekend, and she'd only grown about one pound um, more than she has been, so she is still very, very tiny. Miss Cricket's like, okay, good to be home. Thank you again for all the donations and Chris for letting me know how many. <laughs> I always am very happy if we get about $100 a day and alive for the cats here because that would definitely be feeding somebody breakfast the next day. So thank you for that. And if you missed any of this from the beginning, all of my lives still accumulate at dailybigcat.com. You can find the Q&A with Brittany playlist. And I did calculate it. I've definitely done, I think it was 1,077 lives. <laughs> so there's endless lives for you to catch up on. This week will probably be similar for me as far as um, I'll try to, weather permitting, do a live tomorrow, probably not on Tuesday, and then again on Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesdays for a little while, my lives might not be first thing in the morning because I will be trying to catch up on other work, and then in the afternoons, we will be handing out the birthday enrichments. So I know a lot of people work, but that is the plus side, is you can always rewatch these at dailybigcat.com. I have loved, absolutely cherished every moment of being um, able to bring these cats live to you. I started in 2018 and for 2018 and 19 and the very beginning of 2020, we were open to the public. We are still closed to the public out of precaution of COVID. The cats can get COVID and we don't want to take the extra risk with our staff, with our cats, with our volunteers. Because every single little life here is precious and we just don't want to add any risk to that. Oh, Zuzu, you're on the totally wrong side. <laughs> he's like through a bunch of layers of wire because he's in another section. So what I can say is that we are always looking for volunteers and interns, have to produce negative tests to be vaccinated, but we are still doing orientations and inviting people to join us. So if 2022 is the year you're thinking about volunteering somewhere and you are local to us in the Tampa area. You can always find that information on our website, bigcatrescue.org backslash get hyphen involved. Okay, so we've seen a leopard. We've seen a couple of servals now. Let's see. There's 
the bobcat. Here is a Nabisco. Hey, bub. Happy New Year, sweet boy. Hello. Happy New Year, sweet boy. This is Nabisco. If you've ever been curious about any of our cats and their backstories and you want to find out their ages and all of that type of thing, we do have bio pages for each cat that lives here and those are also on our website, bigcatrescue.org backslash cat bio. where this little girl is. She had some platform work done last week and was not thrilled about it. Hey lady! Small girl! Hi! She's up in her tree house. I have one of those prickly things in my sock. Hi lady! Did I get here too late? Are you over the zoomies right now? <laughs> walk around back there. Yeah, our internship programs, you come for three months at a time. You live on site. You start as level one, can go all the way through level five if you're accepted back in for each level. Whereas volunteering, you start as a project person for a couple of months. And then you can apply for promotions to yellow to actually start working with the cats. And then a year later, you can apply for green to start working with the big cats. Four years after that, you can apply to be navy, which I'm very excited. My husband applied yesterday. He's actually been eligible since November, <laughs> but he just now took the time to sit down and write it all out. What happened? You just needed me to walk all the way over here? Which way are we going? I'm on the wrong side now. I'm on the wrong side now. Hi. Hi, Angel. Hey, sweet girl. So this is Small's Bobcat. hear you purring. So hopefully whenever the committee gets all of that worked out, it'll be a navy in 2022 and we'll be the same color again. <laughs> what are you doing? doing? can definitely say that we've had, we have the least amount of volunteers that I've ever seen us have since I started. So it'd be really wonderful to add some new team members to our family this year, both volunteer and intern wise. But I know it's tricky with the way the world is right now, all these new variants, everything's so unpredictable. What are you doing? Meow. I see you in there. This year in 2022, we'll be celebrating our seventh year here at Big Cat Rescue, Mark and I, as well as seven years of having moved to Florida. It's our 13th year together. I was like, how many New Year's have we had? And sat down and started looking, and I was like, wow, this is the 13th. Hey, where'd you go? <laughs> okay, I guess, we're, I guess we're just playing games today. Playing hard to get. Playing hard to get. <laughs> Are you zooming on your platforms? She's up to something. I just don't know what it is. 
You're freaking me out. This is like that one time when she <laughs> kept running around being all crazy in her den and then she brought out a squirrel and I was like, oh no. Did you hide something in there? <laughs> Just spazzy. Just spazzies. You are so goofy. You are just so goofy. All right, lady. I'm gonna go show one more cat. We're gonna make a big cat. <laughs> she, is, she is being squirrely. Being squirrely. She's up to no good. I will come back and check that in. <laughs> After last week's snake incident, though, I don't have it in me. <laughs> All right, we will go wrap up this live. Go see a big cat. And then, like I said, probably a little bit later this morning. I don't know if we'll do lives, but we will hand out enrichment to Servi and Diablo and try to get some photos and videos. Um, since Lauren's not here today, I might, if I don't go live, I might try to shoot some supporter videos for you guys. So anyone who is the 99 cent a month Facebook supporter for us, gets you all kinds of extra content. And Lauren kind of took that over at the end of 2021 and has been doing great, but when she's not here, she can't do it. So... <laughs> I try to step in. Okay. On to our last cat. Let's see who is out on Tanker Row. Another big thank you to everybody who's helping each other out in the comments. I'm not always looking at my camera. Kind of treacherous around here and with my foot problems I certainly don't need to step on something the wrong way and further injure. There's a lovey. Hi love bug. I can't drive past the lovey who's very camouflaged right now and not say hi. <laughs> Miss love bug. Super cute. Super birthday boys later this month, huh? Oh, I think I put this on my page, but this carrier that you see right here is the one that I went and picked up from Mr. Dasher. So Dasher Bunny was released on Thursday before I left for the weekend. And when I went and checked his carrier this morning, he is nowhere to be seen, so he moved out and moved on. So I collected all of his stuff. Morning, Miss Gail. <laughs> Hi, handsome. So that was a good ending to the year. To put one more animal that was meant to be out in the wild back into the wild was pretty emotional. I'm always so emotional. I carry just too much emotion. <laughs> I absorb it from everywhere. Yes, I know, sir. It's Mr. 
Simba. But Simba came to us from Guatemala and so he falls into that category of January birthdays where because there's no real record keeping um, in something like a circus, same thing with Max, we have to guesstimate their age. Hi, Bob! Look at that cute boy. Look at that cute boy. Max Tiger. Gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Miss Kelly. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me on my very first live of 2022. You know there will be many, many more to come. Also, as I mentioned a few weeks ago, there should be something special coming for your Saturday lives. So look forward to that. And I just can't thank you guys enough for everybody who is sponsoring. Another huge shout out to our anonymous donor for sponsoring every single one of our 44 permanent residents, all five of our rehab Bobcats, and not only sponsoring them again this year, but increasing how much she sponsored them for is just such a, a wonderful thing. So thank you guys. I hope that's inspiring to some of you. And again, you can rewatch this if you missed any of my random updates for today at dailybigcat.com. You can sponsor and shop for all of the birthday cats this month at bigcatrescue.biz. And keep your eye on our eBay because we've got lots of stuff coming for you. So happy new year, everybody. I look forward to um, us all trying to make this the most positive and best that we possibly can. So have a great day, everybody.